My name is Promise Modzingwa and I am originally from Tasmania and I was a recipient of the 2019 John Bell Scholarship. I remember the day I got the call saying that I had the scholarship and I just bowled my eyes out for so long. I hadn't seen any black individuals in theatre at that point until I had seen Much Ado About Nothing from Belle Shakespeare and saw Zinzi Okenyo, who was my main inspiration at the time. So it kind of felt like I also had an opportunity to move further up with my career as well. I'm Isabel Burton and I was one of the 2022 Belle Shakespeare players. Sitting in the audience for As You Like It back in 2015 was so, I think for me, life-changing. I had just finished high school and I was deciding on what to study post high school and the performances really brought Shakespeare's text to life. That was the point where I knew I wanted to be a performer and an actor. I'm Seamus Curtin McGee and I'm one of the Pathways teachers at Kalyana School Bendigo. Kellyanne is a special education school, so students who attend here live with a disability. Uh, they also present with other sorts of learning difficulties of, of lots of different kinds. Last year we had an artist in residence program through Bell Shakespeare, and it was wonderful to see a group of students that I would never have thought would engage with, with drama full stop, let alone with Shakespeare, having a crack at the a wonderful range of exercises that Tim and Sharon from Bell were able to come up with. It was, it was amazing to watch. The kids just exploded with creativity in that space and are really proud of what we came up with. I was. I was crying in the wings, so, you know. It's really amazing performing for primary school students because they get to see the level of play on the stage and see that storytelling can be so, so much more and that they can do it themselves with items that they find around the house, around the school, around the classroom. And after we've performed the show, one or two students will come up to us afterwards to talk to us. They're sharing with us that this is the first time they've ever seen theatre and it has blown their mind. They suddenly connect with Shakespeare for the first time in a way that English class couldn't have ever done that for them. I personally never wanted to be an actor until I saw the players. It kind of inspired me in a way to pursue it and see what else there is in theatre. A lot of the students I, I work with and deal with identify discrimination and ableism as something they have to deal with every day. And I think the opportunity to engage with and uh, perform plays by William Shakespeare is just a, a way they can look at themselves and go, no, we can, we can do this. We, we can do stuff that's hard. We can do stuff that, you know, our mainstream brothers and sisters do struggle with as well, and we can do a damn good job of it. But the concept that through games, through learning, uh, through movement and through creation, learning can still happen because it just adds a richness to it. And I think that's, that's remained um, in place across the school. It's been really cool.